What's up, my new money family people? This is your family head once again, and I also and I welcome you to today's live video. Um, if you are joining me, hey, welcome. If you are going to watch this as a replay, I still say welcome. What is today's episode about? Today we are going to liking, um, you know, relationships or being in love or trying to fall in love with business, right? Uh, we are going to look at them, you know, separately and look at how similar they are. All right, I promise you are going to love this episode, so um, stay, stay with me till the end, okay? Today we are talking about lead nurturing, lead nurturing. It is number three of my three-part uh, videos on leads, on, on lead generation, or what a lead is. So by now, I expect that you know uh, what a lead is. If we say lead or lead generation, you know what a lead is. You know what a lead magnet is, all right? That is giving something for free um, in exchange for <clears throat> the contact of your customers so that you can market to them later so today's part is the marketing part how you are going to market to, to them how you're going to develop their relationship all right <clears throat> so um what is a lead magnet lead magnet i mean sorry what is lead nurturing lead nurturing is um basically building the relationship with individuals all right who express interest in your product okay um, you know, but are not ready to do business with you or to buy from you right off the bat or immediately, but shows promise of engaging with your business, you know, later, right? They are not ready to buy immediately, but later, you know, they will definitely be your customers. So what do you do? How do you manage, um, you know, this situation? And that is what today's topic is about. <clears throat> that is lead nurturing. All right, so lead nurturing is all about building awareness, all right, educating your clients in order to gain their trust so that later, um, after they've gained your trust, they'll buy from you, okay? Um, just liking now, let's liken it to dating. You see a, a lady, you are interested in her, your crush, um, you want to go into a relationship with her, or you, you, you see her as a perfect match, you want to have something to do with her. For her to be your partner, what do you do? You don't just go to her and tell her, Look, um, let's go and see your parents that same day, or Charlie, let's go into my room. You know what I mean? It doesn't happen. I can guarantee you 110% it will go wrong, it will backfire, it will not work, All right? But rather, what happens? You know, <laughs> this happens especially if the lady is Ghanaian. <coughs> Excuse me, if the lady is a Ghanaian. Right, Ghanaian ladies. First instance, first approach. Charlie, they will, you know, play hard to get, hard to find, you know, for some time. Right. So what happens when they are playing hard to find? You don't just go away because you want her, you love her. So what do you do? You give her time. That is when all the calls come in, the early morning messages, the late night messages before, uh, you know, you go to bed or she goes to bed. You make sure you call. Early morning, you'll be the first person. After talking, you'll be like, oh, hang up. Then she'll also be like, oh, no, you hang up first. You call. Then you'll be on the phone. You understand? All those things you do when you are in love, when you are trying to get into the relationship, the surprise gifts you give her, you know, she'll not be aware. Then, pam, a gift will come. Then, pam, credit will come. You understand? All these things, they are lead nurturing if you compare it to business. All right? <laughs> Sometimes you go to her late at night. You come, you come out trying to find car to go to your house. You will not find. You'll be standing there, and mosquitoes will be feasting on you. All these things, you know, all the checkups on her, everything, the check check you'll be buying from her. All this is just like nurturing a lead, right? Someone interested in your product, nurturing the relationship so that they will trust you and later buy from you. This, this is very, very crucial. All right? Then finally, she says yes. After all these, uh, you know, investments, time investments, you know, sometimes money. Then later, she says yes, you are in a relationship. Unfortunately, most businesses don't want to go through this process. And it's very, very bad. They feel it's a waste of time. So, I won't even waste my time um, to, uh, you know, create awareness and everything. No, that is not the right way to do business. Okay? It's just like meeting a lady and just like I said, right off the bat, you want to, you know, have something to do with her. It doesn't work that way. Alright? Now, um, 
You want them to buy from you, but you are not doing what you are supposed to do. So what happens? They don't buy. You run the ads, the ads don't convert. Then you get frustrated and complain that people are not buying. Because you are not following the right procedure or the right processes. It's just like um, Facebook ads, running a Facebook ad. Facebook ads, um, you know, they follow three main stages. Alright? But often, we don't do the first two. We just go off, you know, and start to convert. Do conversion ads. We do conversion ads, we don't see results, and we are like, no, Charlie, Facebook, right, it doesn't work. You are not doing the right thing. Under the objectives, or under the campaign session, there are different objectives. The first set of objectives is about awareness, creating awareness. The second is about consideration. Then the third will be conversion. But mostly, people run straight ahead to conversion. It doesn't work that way. You need to start from the awareness stage. Awareness is just like introducing yourself or introducing your business. Okay? You know what? If we don't know what to do, if we don't understand it, let's look at the old school days. The adverts we used to watch. Onga, mama's helping hand. Did they tell you Onga, come and buy, come and buy, come and buy? No. You don't know Onga. You've not heard of them before. You don't know what they do. So they create ads to make themselves aware. You see people floating, playing music in this track, some walking with products, okay? Others in the track, playing music, singing, wearing t-shirts of a certain brand, all right? Those things are awareness creation. They are creating awareness. They are activating the brand. They want you to know that something like that exists. You go to the market, you find a company, they've uh, mounted a tent. There are people under it. They are playing music. Market women are dancing. What are they doing? They are creating awareness. All right? That's the traditional way of doing things. You can do the same to your business on social media when you, uh, when you want to advertise. All right? Run awareness campaigns, rich campaigns. Let people know that your business exists, your products and your services exist. That is the first stage. Before you go to the second stage, the second stage is about educating them. Okay? okay? Educating. That is the consideration stage. That is when they will see that, okay, and when you show them that, okay, so this is what my product does. That is what my product can do for you. Can do for your household. Can do, you know, uh, can help you. That is the consideration stage. And that is the second stage. So, you want to run awareness campaigns. You want to run consideration campaigns. Teaching people how to, how your product works. Okay? Then, they begin to trust you because, okay, they're like, fine, I can trust them. They have showed me this, they have showed me that. So I can do business with them. Then they consider to buy from you. Some time ago, <clears throat> you know, I used to live in Bubuashi, right? Um, so I was sent to Kanishi. I was going to, uh, uh, to Kanishi. At the Kanishi market, I saw a lot of the market women, they had gathered. There was a stage, you know, a company had mounted a stage. They had gathered, there, were a lot of, there was a lot of noise there. I wanted to get closer and see what, is, what was happening. I got closer and I, was, I saw uh, this company, this detergent company, so clean. All right? There were two women. One was using the so clean product. The other was using another product altogether. Okay? And, you know, the so clean, the one who was using the so clean was washing. Okay, after that, she raised it and she, she showed it and everything was clean. You know, I'm sure you've even seen an ad like that. With that, they are educating you. That is the consideration stage. They are educating you to let them, to let you know that this is what my product can do. So when you buy so clean, for instance, it's going to help you remove all these things. And guess what? They are doing this in the market. So the market women who stain their aprons and their dresses and stuff, they can use so clean to get their stains out. So this is where people consider buying their products and that is the consideration stage unfortunately we don't do that we just run to conversion okay so when you are running facebook ads please try to go through these stages then the last stage is when you actually make the sale when you actually tell the people to buy because by then they would have seen your awareness campaigns creating the awareness letting them know you exist they would have seen your value videos okay showing them what your products and your services can do for them then now they are like okay so i can i think i trust this this brand enough i can do uh, business with them all right so that is the stage that is what you want to do that is what you want to be uh, following all right so this is just a little uh, about i mean a little bit you know of what we'll be treating 27th of this month uh, june 
at the Facebook masterclass that I'm organizing. So um, if you've not registered yet, please do now. Okay, go to newmoneyacademy.com forward slash live newmoneyacademy.com forward slash live and it's a free training free masterclass i want people to know uh, the power of facebook how they can use facebook for their businesses how they can target their competitors customers okay with facebook ads all right most of us are doing facebook the wrong way we are advertising the wrong way we just go under the post click boost it doesn't it doesn't do any good to our business let us see how we can maximize that how we can target our you know customers people who are looking for our products and services um, to buy, to do business with us. Okay, come and let's uh, meet and take a deep dive uh, into it. The stages of Facebook ads, everything. Okay, I promise it's going to be very impactful, very insightful. So um, don't be left out. Uh, I'm looking forward to see you, especially uh, my new money family people. You know, you guys join me um, every time I come here live. You watch my videos. I see my boss, Jesse, you know, dooms. <laughs> Doom superior superior. <laughs> Forgive me, boss, but for some reason, I <laughs> unless I read the post, I can't mention it. I can't say it. Okay, uh, thank you for joining me, Jesse. I appreciate you being here. All right, and uh, happy belated birthday to you. Okay, so I'm 29, 27th. I'll be expecting you guys. New money family, let's come together. It's only for 20 people, only 20 sports. All right, so I want my people to take their spot. In fact, um, we have just a few left. A lot of people have registered. Okay, so please register. It's for free. Book your slot and learn how you can uh, let Facebook work for you, for your business. Okay, and grow fast. Especially in this time where people are complaining that business is not uh, going on well. Because people, people are not going out anymore. How can you still advertise to them if they are in their homes? If they are not going out, please come and let's learn. Okay, take a deep dive to this. So, how effective, uh, you know, can you uh, nurture your leads? How effective can you nurture your leads? Let's look at uh, some points, about six points. So, the first one is you want to personalize your messages or your email campaign. Okay, people feel, people are happy when they see that, oh, so uh, this person has mentioned my name. They really care about me. They've mentioned my name in the email address, in the messages. Just look at what the banks are doing. They personalize all your messages to you. They even send you a message on your birthday. Do you get it? So you want to do that. You want to include that in your email campaigns, in your text messaging. All right? And the beauty of sending your business online is you can automate all these things. All right? So that as soon as a person opts in, uh, automatically, you'll be sent a message. They'll be sent a message with their name and everything. You can automate all the processes. Look, these are some of the things you'll be learning. All right? So um, again, don't miss out. All right? So you have to also educate them the proper way of um, lead nurturing. That's what we are talking about. Okay, so educate your people, educate them. So it is also in these three. It's also in these three stages: the awareness, consideration, and the um, conversion. Educate them. So if you want to educate people at the awareness stage, what do you do? That is when you create content. That is where you create blogs. Um, that is where you know you 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 um, create videos. All right, to give them, you know, to show them that okay, so my business exists. Right, so this is what I can do for you. This blog is sharing my ideas, and that is the second point. You have to share ideas. I mean, share uh, what you know, how to do this, how to do that, the benefits of your product uh, to them. You are educating them, letting them know because at first they didn't even know you, now they've come to realize that you exist. So, you want to educate them, always lead with value, don't just go and start selling. Okay, most often, most often, it doesn't work that way. Right? You want to lead with value and educate people. Do you get it? Now, then you come to the uh, consideration stage. That is where you, you show them testimonials of people who have used your products. Right? You, you, you show them customer reviews. Okay? Product reviews of people who have actually used your products and have benefited. That is what you do at the uh, consideration stage. Okay, so that they are like, okay, so this person has used it. It means I can also use it. That person has used it and he's telling me uh, what, they, what they got from using the product. That is the testimonial, all right? So you want, if you don't know about this, you want to be, um, you know, taking testimonials. If they buy from you, if people buy and they use their, your product, you want to get feedback from them because you can use it uh, to market to people who are now, you know, thinking of doing business with you. It is very, very key. So if you don't get anything at all from today's video, I want you to put this at, at the back of your head. Like anytime people buy from you, take reviews, take feedback from them. 
right? Even by doing this, you know the negative feedback and the positive ones. So the negative ones, you build on them, right? Now, <clears throat> also, in case you are not sure uh, of value you want to give them, just look at why they opted in. You know, uh, in our last video, I spoke about lead magnet. Okay, lead magnet is just giving something for uh, to the clients for free. In exchange, you take their contact details so that you can market them to, the, to them later, so that you can nurture the leads later. Okay, so you take their email address, their phone numbers, you know, and all those informations you think you will need. All right, so um, you give giving something in exchange for, for, for their phone numbers. All right, so think about what got them to, um, to start, you know, the relationship. You gave something for free. That is what they took. And that is the reason why they gave you um, their phone numbers or their contact details. So you want to create content, you know, around the lead magnets, around what got them to start, you know, being interested in your product. Then you give it to them. All right. Continue giving them value. The later you sell to them. Okay. Another thing, another best way or another right way of nurturing your leads is not sending them messages every day. If you send people messages every day, look, you become annoying. You become very spammy. Just look at our telcos, the telecommunications networks. You know some, okay? I'm sure if I ask you to type some names, you type for me, all right? But these telcos, they send us messages. Some keep sending us messages and numerous number of messages in a day, okay? And we wish we could even block them, but look, unfortunately, we can't. We are using their network. So they keep sending us messages every time. Right? So just think about it this way, that if you are going to bother your, your, your prospects, okay, whilst you are nurturing them, you are going to bother them with too many messages, too many emails. Look, it is even a fastest way to get them to block you. They will block you. They will not be able to see your messages again. They will not be able to see your emails again. So please don't send messages every day if they become leads. Okay, you want to find, you know, reasonable interval between your messages or your, 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 your emails you send them. Okay, and don't send them every message. You have uh, your pre uh, what drafted messages. So once they come into your system, you are going to send them everything. No, like right? okay. So look at the stage where they got uh, you know to become your customer. They got to be interested in your product. All right, and send them messages accordingly. Don't send them everything. All right. One other thing too is as soon as they give you their emails or their phone numbers, you want to start marketing to them immediately. Please, don't wait for the leads to get cold before you start marketing to them, all right? Waiting, uh, Charlie, makes the, 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 the lead very cold. And reviving them is also another thing altogether. So as soon as they opt in, you start sending them the messages. You send them the welcome messages. You send them, you know, the value messages, teaching them this or teaching them that, letting them know the value of, uh, of what they are getting by interacting with you or by choosing to become your customer or considering to become your customer. Okay, so start immediately. And also, create content around their pain points. By pain points, I mean um, the reason why, again, that they opted, you know, to, to do business with you or to interact with you. Okay, by doing that, you are solving problems. You are identifying the problems and you are solving the problems. Okay, so by creating content around the pain points, Right, you let them start being like, okay, so this person cares about me. This person knows my problem, so they are showing me content. They are creating content that will benefit me, that will solve my problems. Okay, and that is when they will start considering to buy from you. So you see where you move from, where you when you see your crash, and you want to start, you know, uh, you want to interact with them and start you can get into a relationship with them. You see the processes you go through step by step. You don't have to rush the relationship. All right. Or rush someone to get into a relationship with you. So if you're a business, you want to woo a customer over. Look, you do it in, you know, reasonable steps. Don't just bombard them with messages here and there. Okay? Um, I hope you've learned something from this video. If you're now joining, you are late. I want you to start from the beginning. Okay? And if this is your first time, look, I have uh, a lot of videos, you know, on my uh, Facebook page. You can go through and, you know, it will be of great value to you. You know, so that's it for today's video. Uh, it's been me, myself, and I, your family head, Nanaya Ousu. Till I come your way again in my next video, uh, just like always, stay focused on your side hustle. I'm out.